What's up, people? This is Sandra from the A originator from the Book It Down Bronx, and don't you ever forget it. So what I got, oh, my hands still hurt. Look at this. Got to put it back on, though. I got to do my own little therapy right now, so I got to take it easy. But anyway, what am I doing today? I have on a yellow apron, which means that I'm cooking in the kitchen. I'm making me loaf. What I didn't do was tell you what was in it, and I started mixing it already. So my meatloaf contains... A mild Italian turkey ground. This is like kind of like a sausage kind of flavor in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm lit. So, but not only am I just making turkey meatloaf, I'm tur making a three cheese indoor, I call it indoor meatloaf with a little red eye. Okay, let me explain myself. So, right now I have... Already mixed in my binder, which is breadcrumbs, my onions, my peppers, my eggs. And if you, what I do is I smell it to see if I need, what kind of seasons, yeah, I'm not good, that I need to add inside. So since it's Italian turkey sauces, you don't have to put too much of like oregano or thyme or anything in it. Because it's basically already made like that. Because it's like Italian sausage. So... You want to put something kind of sweet in there, maybe some basil, you know, my little secret seasoning, which I won't keep divulging out on here. Um, and then it's ready to go. So I have what's called two pals. As you can see, I split it in half. So I'm going to throw this down so you can see. Okay. And I'm going to take one half and I'm just going to drop it in the pan. And what you're going to do is you're going to make your own shape. This left hand can't do all of that stuff, so I have to just use the right hand. And this is the bottom. So it don't have to be perfect. But I know I like to slice my meatloaf a certain way as if it was an abundant pan. But I'm not using an abundant pan. I'm using a tin pan because I have one hand. And my I could put with so many things in the dishwasher. Okay? So... That one is already on the bottom. And then I already started setting up my cheese. So I'm just going to put that back up here. I have American cheese and mozzarella cheese. I started stacking, ready to put on there. Next is the cheddar cheese. So I have three cheeses. I'm going to put the cheddar cheese on top. I think I'm going to add a little bit. I'm going to add two more slices. Uh, nope, I'm just going to add mozzarella cheese. A little more mozzarella cheese on the top. A little bit more. I like cheese. Cheese is not good for me. But I like a lot of cheese. And then, oh, I got some split up stuff here. We're going to take the other half. Get some onions in there and the peppers. Stick it in there. And then I'm going to take this half and just drop it right on top of the other the bottom layer. And then this is when you're going to mold in your sides. You're going to scrunch the meat up like you're doing dough. Put some onions and peppers back inside, wherever they want to go. You're going to make like a, whatever way you get it all together. Get it all together without smashing it too much. Look at that. Let me move this big bowl out the way so you can see what's going on over here. I put both layers together. I got cheese on the side. We don't want that to burn too early. Stuff that inside. I know that looks delicious to y'all. Mm -hmm. Stick that all in there. And then, 30 minutes before this is completely done, which, of course, I'm going to stick a fork in it. Let's go in my sharp drawer. I have this sharp drawer here. And in this sharp drawer, it has my little gadgets. So, let's find what I'm looking for. Because when I'm testing my meat, if you remember, I bought this little handy dandy gadget from Amazon. 
So in the 30 minutes before my meat is done, I'm gonna check this thermometer to see if it says medium well. And that's when I'm gonna add my sauce and let it cook to well done. So this is what it looks like, people. It looks delicious. Delicious. I'm gonna let this bake for an hour so far and check on it. And then every 15 minutes to 30 minutes after. But I know this is gonna be delicious. I'll see you in a minute. Check in the meat temperature. So that was medium, and we're gonna put it back in the oven for a little longer. Second temperature check. Medium well, add the sauce. Straight out the jar today. And this one is ragu, mushrooms, and green peppers. Add it back up. Put it back in for 30 minutes. 15 with the lid on, 15 with the lid off. So I just took the meatloaf out the oven. Voila! Triple cheese. Italian, mild Italian turkey ground meatloaf. It's making my mouth water, people. I'm telling you. This is Sandy from the A. Peace.